What's up everybody, my name is Cap the Everyday Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to edit the glass within your Minecraft file to make it look however you want to. Kind of like what I did here, made mine look transparent so it's easier to see through. I've had a lot of people requesting me to show how I'm actually doing that in my videos, so I thought I'd take the time to do that, and hopefully it'll help you out. Now before anybody else says it, I know that there are probably texture packs out there that you could download to make the glass transparent or whatever, and I'm sure there's probably some other tutorials on YouTube on how to do this, but anytime you download somebody else's texture pack, you're dealing with their creativity. Basically, you're going to have to just deal with whatever they chose to do with the file and with the texture instead of what you want to do with it. So anyway, I just wanted to do this to show you guys how to make it look like however you want to. If you want to make your glass pink all the way through and non-transparent, that's up to you, but this at least show you how to do it. Now for starters, you're going to need a program that can access a .jar file. I personally recommend WinRAR. It's a free program. Um, after you've used it for a few days, every time you open it, it'll pop up and say, your free trial has expired, please click here to buy it now, but all you have to do is click cancel. Now, I don't know anybody who's actually bought a license to that, and it's not pirating. Um, secondly, you're going to need a photo editing program that can handle transparencies. Microsoft's Windows Paint cannot do it. You can't do it in Windows Paint. You're going to have to use an external program. A lot of people use programs like Paint.net, which is free. Um, I'm using GIMP, which is free. It's a sort of a open source photo editing software, but it's the one I use, so it's what I'm going to be using in this tutorial. But they all look and function pretty similar, so even if you're not using GIMP, you can probably kind of figure out what I'm doing in this, and it'll help you get going in the right direction. So, let's go ahead and just get started. So to start with, to access all your Minecraft files, click on Start, Run. You're going to type in percent sign, app data, percent sign, and then just hit Enter. And you'll just hit Open This. This is a system folder that actually holds a lot of data information for most of the programs you install for your individual profile. You can see up in the uh, address bar at the top, this is under Roaming. This is all done for Windows 7, by the way. So from within this folder, you'll double click the Minecraft folder and it'll open up into this folder. This is the folder that Minecraft stores all the game information with. The screenshots file is where it goes to when you hit F2 in the game. The saves file, this is where all your individual worlds are in case you don't know where all this information is. This is how you get to it. So from within this folder, go ahead and open up the bin folder. And you'll see this. This is the set of core files that Minecraft uses to actually run. You'll see the one that's just actually called Minecraft. It's a jar file. It's a .jar file. If you double click it, it's probably not going to try and run. It might try and access it and it'll just possibly tell you that you can't run and you don't have permissions to. So what you're going to need to do is right click the file and go to open with and choose winrar.archive and you'll see it pop up this right here. And see this is where the little trial thing pops up. From within this file what you need to do is scroll all the way down to the terrain.png file. Click and drag it all the way to your desktop so that it just creates a copy there just like that. Now go ahead and minimize all the other windows and right click the terrain file and depending on what program you're using it'll either be underneath the open with menu or pinned at the top like mine is where it says edit and GIMP. Just click it and let it open up. And this is what it actually looks like once it's opened up there. You'll see it's just got tons and tons of squares of different colors. This is all the textures that's used to make up the world of Minecraft here. So this is the file you would edit if you want to make any of your files different, any of your blocks different, any of your colors different, you want to make custom cobblestone. This is the file you would actually do it in. So the first thing you need to do is at the bottom click the zoom button and go all the way into 800% and then you're going to scroll to the top left hand side of the file and you'll see the glass texture right about in the middle of the screen here on the left side. Now before you start editing this, keep this in mind that each one of these blocks is 16 by 16 pixels, meaning that if you start doing a lot real fast, you could end up affecting the blocks surrounding this. So you want to be sure to take your time, and we're going to make sure we use the right size brushes and tools for all this. So the next thing you're going to do is from the toolbar on the left side, you're going to check the eraser tool, and you're going to select the brush size and choose the smallest one, the 1.1. And then you just click and start erasing within the size of the glass file there. Now you got to be real careful. If you go real fast, like I said, you may end up accidentally going into another square. So you want to move just a little bit at a time. And just keep in mind, if you do accidentally get going a little bit too fast and you accidentally erase some of the other file, you can always just click Edit Undo and it'll redo what you just did there like that. 
And now you can just customize it however you want to. If you've seen my worlds before, you know I like to add the little colored corners in it just so I can kind of see it. I always do just a white color and I add kind of a three point pixel in each corner. Now something to keep in mind is if you do straight transparent with no color, no border, no nothing in it, when you get into the world of Minecraft, you will not be able to see it at all. And after you've got it edited the way you want to, just click on File, click Save, and then go ahead and close out of the program and get back to the desktop. Once you're back to the desktop, go ahead and maximize the Minecraft.jar file. Click and drag the terrain.png file into it, and you'll see it pop up this thing. Make sure it says Add and Replace Files under the Update mode. Just click OK, and now you're in there. Go ahead and close it out. And you're done. Now when you open up Minecraft, you'll have it showing up exactly like you just made it in the file. And that's all there is to it. Nice and pretty looking, huh? So anyways, guys, that's how you go about editing your uh, glass file there. Hope it was helpful for you guys and come up with some creative designs. Like I said, the one thing I recommend is don't make it completely transparent because when you fire up the world of Minecraft, your glass won't be able to be seen and you'll just end up running into it. It looks great for Windows, but if you set it out in the world, you'll just trip over it a lot. So anyway, like I said, I hope this helped you out. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd definitely appreciate it if you'd rate the video. And uh, if you're new to the channel, I hope you'll subscribe and join my little community. Thank you guys for your time. Y'all have a good day.